member for Saanich South. Thank you. Some say politics is a dirty business, and some believe that politics is about dirt. I quote, as generations become further removed from an agrarian lifestyle and as we lose community, I fear that civil society becomes less civil. It is at our peril that the great cities of the world forget that civilization relies on the health of the soils upon which it rests. Those are the words spoken by our own Lieutenant Governor, Judith Gishon. Many of the first ranchers, such as the Gishon family, came to British Columbia 150 years ago, chasing their dreams of gold, she said. They came for the gold, but then stayed for the grass. The 68th United Nations General Assembly declared 2015 the International Year of Soils. The most widely recognized function of soil is to support uh, our food production. 95% of our food is directly or indirectly produced on our food growing lands. Specific objectives of the UN International Year of Soils are to raise full awareness among society and decision makers about the profound importance of soil for human life, to educate the public about the crucial role soil plays in food security, climate change adaptation and mitigation, essential ecosystem services, poverty alleviation and sustainable development. In British Columbia, we've been trying to protect our food growing soils for over 40 years. Up to the 1970s, nearly 6,000 hectares of prime agricultural land were being lost each year to urban development and other uses. The provincial government responded to this erosion of the agricultural land base by introducing BC's Land Commission Act on April 18, 1973, and the Agricultural Land Reserve was established, reserving 5% of this province's for food growing. Some say politics is a dirty business. It isn't always, but when you see what's happened to our agricultural land reserve lately, I'd have to agree.